Hello everyone, it's Becky here and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video. I was very excited to film today's video because now we are talking non-fiction November TBR and I do love non-fiction November very much since I joined booktube, which is not that far ago but still because I do love to read non-fiction books but I am not reading as much as I would love to. And non-fiction November for those of you who are new to this idea or to this read-along, um, it's basically a read-a-ton or read-along organized by a book olive and I will link all the details to the description down below and basically the only thing you need to do in order to participate is to read at least one non-fiction book or if you are a person who used to read let's say one or two non-fiction books per month then it would be nice if you could add one more books to what you normally read and if you would like to step a game up a little bit there are also a few words which can help you to choose what kind of books to pick up for this readathon and this year there are four words which you can interpret basically any how you would like and the words are record, element, border and secret and I did have my own pile of possibilities or the pile of books I wanted to read this month and then I basically realized that uh, they do fit into all of these prompts and funnily enough they are all blue <laughs> so it's gonna be a blue month for me and I will just start with the first book which is this one called The Tattooist of Auschwitz and this is a book which I was planning to read many months ago because I bought it in one the charity shop I think it was in March or something like this um, but I still did not get into it because for me reading books which are set in the World War II and concentration camps obviously it's very difficult to read but I still feel like it's important for us to read this book and watch movies and tell the stories so people won't forget and also something like this will never repeat again however when you think about what is happening in the world right now but okay anyway back to this book so i think many of you already heard about this or read this uh, but for those of you who don't know this is a story about a young man who was taken to a concentration camp and basically was put into the position of someone who is doing a tattoos and um, who is tattooing the numbers of other prisoners for their forearms and there he meets a woman he falls in love with and he decides that not only he wants to survive but also he wants to make sure that the woman will survive as well so it sounds very much heartbreaking already to me but i would love to read this and i feel like now in november it's now or never so I'm very excited to read this book as first and to me I feel like it fits into the prompt of border either mentally or physically so that would be the first book the book number two I have here is this one called American Baby and that would be for the prompt secret because um, basically this book was sent to me by lovely Gemma from Gem of Books because she mentioned this book in one of her previous videos and I said in the comments that it sounds very interesting and she was like oh I, I'm not gonna read it again so I can send it to you so thank you very much again um, and this is a book which is set in 1960s in America and basically explore the topic of adoption and birth control which are the things which used to be really taboo um, in that time but yeah today as well in the world there is a lot of talk about the woman rights for having abortion and all these sort of topics so I'm very much interested to read this and the story should be about a woman who after a very right after giving a birth to her son her son was taken away from her and basically her whole life she, she was searching for him and I believe um, it actually happened that they used to be very close to each other but just didn't even know about it so I'm very much interested to explore this book the book number three and I could not be more excited is this one called the Isle of Dreams and I mentioned this book a couple weeks ago in one of my videos because I purchased this book very recently but I wanted to read this for ages it's by Dan Boothby and the premise of the book is that he was searching his whole life for a home because he never really felt like he belongs anywhere until the point he came to the Scottish islands up in the north and there he describes or in this book he describes his journey um, and also how he met the people there and authors and what he was doing there and his whole process and journey of finding home up in the north in Scotland and I really much love this because recently I was so dreaming about going places like Isle of Skye and then out to Hebrides and just explore those places and I've been really in the mood to read some non-fiction and some travel books and especially set in Scotland so I cannot be more excited for this one 
and then I have one more book which I would love to read and it's audio book actually um, which I have and it's by Priyanka Chopra and it's her memoir called Unfinished and to be honest with you I do not know much about this woman and I did not even know when I decided to read this book but I remember I think it was two years ago now at this point and I was one of my lockdown walks um, and I was listening to one podcast and she came across there and at the beginning I was a little bit skeptical because I'm like I don't know if I want to be listening to her or about her because I knew only she was some model or something and I was a little bit skeptical but then I was listening to her talking and I actually realized like okay she knows what she's talking about and it's actually very interesting and it actually makes sense and and then I came across this book so it's something I would very much like to read and I would like to explore her personality a little bit more because it's actually sounded very interesting. So these are the four books I would love to read and please let me know if you read any of these books and what are your opinions on them and let me know if you're participating in Nonfiction November and also what are you the most excited about to read. I have a feeling, I don't know if I already asked this in the beginning of this video because this is like the fourth time I'm recording because the lighting has been horrible. <laughs> so if I ask you twice to tell me what are you reading, I'm sorry. <laughs> But still tell me in the comments, please. And if you like this video, please consider subscribe because it will be lovely to have you here. And I will see you with another video very soon. Bye-bye.